Yo, what's going on, Fun Orange Nation? Have you ever realized that it can sometimes be difficult to find beat maps in Osu? So, for example, let's say I want to find new tech maps to play. How would I go about looking for these maps? Well, as a naive approach, we could search for it on the Osu website. So as you can see, uh, we actually do get a few tech maps, but that's only because the song happens to have tech in the name. The rest of the maps here aren't necessarily tech maps. We can try Google, and we get a link to a forum with a few beat maps here and there, but you can probably tell that this isn't really an efficient way to find maps. I've seen people make spreadsheets before like this one. So this spreadsheet has 200 plus aim practice maps. So this looks pretty cool, and it looks like they spent a lot of time making this. Uh, it also looks like they have a map pack download, which is really convenient. But as for getting the collection into the game, it's not exactly straightforward. They provide you with a collection.db file, and I'd wager that most people don't really know what they need to do with it in order for the collection to appear in their game. So in order to solve this problem of finding maps, I started working on a project together with Malula back in July, and three months later, it's finally finished and I'm ready to share it with you guys. Introducing Osu Collector. Osu Collector is a website where you can browse through hundreds of user uploaded beat map collections. My son June loves using Osu Collector to find new and exciting Osu beat maps. Whether it's aim practice, tech, or farm maps, if there's something you want to play, Osu Collector's got it. Uploading collections to Osu Collector only takes a second. Just log in using your Osu account, click upload, select your collection.db file, and then choose which collections you want to upload. After that, your collection will be available for everyone to see. Browse through the highest rated beat map collections or take a look at some of the collections Osu's top players have uploaded. What are you waiting for? Get collecting with Osu Collector. Visit Osu Collector today at www.osucollector.com. Okay, so let's revisit the problem at the start of the video. If you want to find new tech maps to play, all you have to do is search for tech, and just like that, you have access to hundreds of tech maps that are just ready to be downloaded. Not just that, but it's easy to find beat maps that specifically target your skill level. And that's thanks to these difficulty graphs on the cover of each collection. With these graphs, you can tell just from a glance how difficult the maps in a collection are. So if I was specifically looking for 6-star tech maps, I would click on a collection like this one, and then by clicking one of these bars, we can filter by 6-star maps. And if you want to play some of these maps, you could either click on the website link and download from the OSU website, or you could use the OSU Direct link if you have OSU Supporter. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do I download all the maps in the collection? And how do I get the collection to appear in my game? Well, in order to do that, we can use the OSU Collector Desktop Client. So the desktop client is basically the same as the website, but it has extra features which can't be implemented inside a web browser, namely batch downloads and importing collections into Osu. So if we just click the download button, then not only will it batch download all the beat maps, but the app is smart enough to know which beat maps you have and which ones you're missing. So it'll only download the ones that you're missing. To get the collection into Osu, we just click the add to Osu button and then we get a warning saying that Osu is currently running. Uh, you could proceed while Osu is running, but I don't know, it's probably not safe, so I would just close the game. And just like that, the collection appears inside Osu. So unfortunately, I can't end the video without saying that the Osu Collector desktop client isn't free. So in order to gain access to it, you need to either subscribe to my Twitch channel, or buy it for 2 bucks a month. Well, actually, if you have Twitch Prime, then you can use your free Prime sub to get the desktop client for free. So the reason why I'm doing it this way is because running a website isn't exactly cheap. So imagine working hard on a project for months, and then once it's finally done, it ends up draining your wallet every month until you have to seriously consider whether or not to shut down the website. I, I didn't want that to happen with Osu Collector, so I figured this would be the best way to monetize the website. If you can't afford to support the project, I totally understand. Uh, not everyone is in the position to be able to do so, but uh, even if you can't, uh, you really aren't missing out on too much. The website is still totally usable, and you'd only be missing out on a few quality of life features, uh, kind of in similar vein to Osu Supporter. But yeah, if you like the work I do, uh, if you like Osu Collector, or even Osu Trainer, then I'd really appreciate it if you uh, support me this way. But yeah, that's basically it. After months of hard work, I'm so happy that this project is finally done.
Uh, hopefully you find the website as useful as I do, and if you can, try to upload some collections that you think other people might enjoy. Uh, that's all from me, I'll see you in the next video.